Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2003 Caterpillar. This is a 262 rubber tired skid steer loader. So, this loader has 2,523 hours on it. It is cabin heat, it does have two speed, and it all works. Cabin heat, all the glasses in it, the front door is on it. This is a machine we have decided to sell the way it is. It was a trade in last week on a, on a tractor. Um, here's what we know and I'm going to disclose it all. I, I'm not here to hide anything. Uh, this was sold by a guy we know to a customer and he didn't disclose some things to him. And I found his stuff whenever he brought it here to trade it in and I'm just going to show you about it. As far as the engine, the hydrostat, drive motors, functions of the machine is 100%. Motor has no blow by. We have run it for about three hours so we knew everything was good there. We've checked it, we've had the cab up, looked over everything. Everything there is good. It was serviced back in March of this year and there hasn't been many hours put on it since, probably around 40. Um, the machine has no oil leaks, cylinders are all dry, the boom is not welded or broke or fabricated on. It did have new wheels and tires put on it last year. Tires are matching, they are about 75% yet. Um, H-Link here in the back is tight. The cab itself is good. Here is what we know is wrong. The auxiliary hydraulics are not engaging. So, we had reviewed it, looked over it. It's one of two things. It is either in the pistol grip joystick control, um, and it, it was replaced, and we're not sure if the guy put the right one in. Uh, we weren't able to get a wiring schematic to check it out. Our laptop didn't support it. Um, it could be that, or it could be the auxiliary controller. I'm selling it that way. I'm not hiding anything. Everything else works, two speed. Um, park brake, everything there works. It is just that auxiliary control. The other couple things we did notice on the door, wipers missing, the door harness is not hooked up, there's some louver vents inside the cab for the heat that are not there, they need to be purchased from cat and they snap in, some decals missing. This is all stuff that we normally would get through and, and do all that. And on this particular machine I'm not doing it, I just don't have the room in it to do it. And I'm going to offer it at a very fair price. The price will be the price. We're not going to take a penny less because you don't buy much of an 80 horsepower skid loader for this kind of money. So let's start you back here at the back door. We're going to take it completely around. Back door decals were all back door open very well. It's not bent in. Um, four cylinder cat motor. It's actually, I believe those were made by Mitsubishi for cat. Um, very good running motor. There's no blow by. It was serviced at 2507 so there's only about 25 hours on it everything was changed oil is excellent very good and clean again there is no blow by uh cooling package if i can get this here open which i will hydraulic fan you can see in there everything there is good our detail guy washed it off and sprayed his normal stuff on but there's no oil leaks on the motor no oil leaks on the hydrostat this thing isn't consumed in here with salt or anything like that. Um, I just back down. Cat does have a clean out up here on the radiator. Again, 262 straight. There was a 262B. The side skirts in the frame are nice. Everything here is straight. There's no oil leaks on the axles. There's no oil leaks on any cylinders. It is standard auxiliary hydraulics, just two ports. Standard two pin quick attach on the skid loader bucket, that works. It does have just a decent, uh, it's a tomahawk bucket. They're not a super heavy bucket, but it is a decent bucket. Cutting edge is excellent. Um, boom stuff is there. Cab, again, it is straight. Here's what we were talking about on the door. Wiper arm is missing. This front step is missing. Man, there's probably some people be saying, wow, he's being real negative. It's not that. I'm just telling the truth. There's so many guys out there that wouldn't say anything. Be, oh, it's a great machine. You can see in here, it's just normal wear from getting in and out. Fuse box lid cover is missing. That louver for the heat is missing. Rheostat knob was broke. The heater fan, everything air works the way it is supposed to. Fuel gauge works, headlights, front and rear work. Uh, machine fires right up, 25, 23 on the hours. Um, 
And the other thing we do know that two-speed light is not coming on, but two-speed works perfect. In and out with no problem. Shuttles right in and out. Gas shock for the door is not there. So, yeah, there's some people right now saying, oh, my, he's being, you know, wow, that's a lot. It's not. It just, it needs some little odds and ends things done. But I'm not asking $21,000 for the skid steer. And it's going to be like sixteen nine. That's the price. And it's given a lot of people a lot of room there to still make some money. So, or to have a cheap skid steer to use. This is the control handle that they updated right here. Again, I have concern if they did not put the right handle in because the handle itself, this is a true oil pilot's machine. The handle itself, all it is doing is functioning the auxiliary hydraulics and this one does not have a lock button. So there is a possibility that they moved this joystick over thinking it would work and it didn't uh, or it could be that uh, control box for it. I don't know. Um, we didn't go that far into it. Here is your two speed and there is a horn right here. So if you are looking for a big machine, don't want to spend a pile of money, here's something to take a look at. And if you're literally just using it for a loader, want to put a set of forks on it, um, that kind of thing, here, here's a machine to take a look at. Winter's coming, you need a cheap snow plow rig, here it is. So I'm going to fire up, we're going to run her through her paces and you can see everything works. <laughs>
follows. The machine does work very good. It's good power. Spin the tire. Does its thing. There, listen, you want a cheap skid loader, a basic skid loader, here's something to take a look at. If you got any questions, 814-658-3066. I have nothing to hide. It's why we took the time to do this video, like we do with all our stuff. But I've been honest. I've told the truth. And the sad thing is, the guy that bought this machine, they didn't tell him anything. He said, I need to buy a affordable skid loader. That's what they sold him when he came in. He had no idea. And it's a shame. You see it every day. It happens. And I, unfortunately, I don't know how they do it. Whatever. That's their thing. It's not mine. So I'm going to do mine the right way. And here's what it is. There's the price. And that's what it is. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.